Hi there, I'm standing right outside Gallows Hall. I'll just pan round and show you the surroundings. And we are standing right on Mara's Eye Pond. Gallows Hall doesn't have its own map marker. Even after we unlock the property, we're always going to be heading back to the map marker at Mara's Eye Pond. So we're just southwest of Windhelm and due west of Kynes Grove. It's easy to get to Mara's Eye Pond from Kynes Grove. Just need to walk across a river and up the hill. No major problems. Now if you're going to head inside with me and try and unlock this property for yourself, <clears throat> I strongly suggest that you make a manual save right now. This mission is very buggy, even if you follow the process very strictly. And there are quite a few quest items lying around which makes it simple to sort of interact with objects out of sequence, which increases the chance of the mission bugging out, obviously. So yeah, make a save, and we'll head inside. And we'll try and follow the process of this quest as strictly as possible. So we don't have any unfortunate bugs and get locked inside. Right, so the first thing we want to do is read this journal. So we've read, read those notes and the first stage of the quest you'll notice that staff hovering around just ignore that, that is part of the script. So we need to read this first clue and we're being directed to pick some torches from the pillars that are surrounding this chamber and we need to pick them in the correct sequence which is Morfall, Falkreath, Nightgate Inn and then Fort Dunstad. So we'll do that now. <coughs> so Morfall, that's the first one. Can't remember where they all are. That's it. Falkreath. And Nightgate Inn. I think that's this one, yes. And Fort Dunstad, finally. That's the first stage completed. <coughs> now we need to pick up this staff of worms that's been flying around the room up to this point. And now the mission note says we need to find a use for the staff. And the solution to this is to check out this corpse. And we'll find a note referring to a hooded skeleton. So now we know what we're looking for. A hooded skeleton. We need to equip the staff of worms. And there is the hooded skeleton that is referred to. Now, in its current state, it is an empty corpse, but once we raise the skeleton, it should possess a key, which we'll need for the next stage of the quest. There we are. The key opens this safe over here. Yeah, there's a nice, unique, enchanted helm in the safe, along with some other valuables. But this is what we need, the second clue. And we are now directed to find a way to the dream world. 
and this is achieved by praying at the shrine of Vimina which I'll do now and then we need to find somewhere to sleep and just as luck would have it there is a conveniently placed bedroll right here so we'll just have one hour's sleep and we are now directed to collect some dreamer gems now we need to head back towards the shrine of Vimina because the first two gems that we're looking for to complete the next stage are nearby you can see one of them there these gems are invisible until you enter the dream state so that's the first one the second one is in this coffin and the third one that we need is in this coffin I think yep and now we're on to the final stage of this quest which requires that we read this note so we need to fill these soul gem holders with the dreamer gems and um, yeah we have only picked up three of the gems and now we need to pick up the fourth one which has been sitting on the floor all along I intentionally didn't interact with this sooner because on one occasion I picked this up as soon as I entered and um, yeah that made the quest impossible to complete so it's best to leave that there until it is required just in case so now we'll place all four of these in the holders and then interact with the altar of the revenant and the quest is now complete we can now access the other areas of this property what am I doing we can also collect these black soul gems as well incidentally you can use this altar from now on to convert just ordinary bog standard greater soul gems into black soul gems if you so require but you need to do it four at a time so whenever you've got four greater soul gems you can put them in these slots activate the altar and you'll receive four black soul gems for your troubles now one of the unique features of this property is the bone forge which is down on the lower level and personally that's the only reason why I would even bother unlocking this property because it's um, it's not the best there isn't much storage here and there aren't I think there's only a couple of mannequins but it is worth it just for the bone forge to be honest and uh, I might do a video on that at a later date but at the current time I don't have access to all of the ingredients to make full use of the bone forge so I'll leave that for another time and um, I hope people have been able to follow along easily enough with this video and hopefully the quest worked out for you absolutely fine and you've managed to unlock the property so I'll say goodbye now then and thank you for watching